Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to get started with plowing and prepping the extended area here of Field 71 and Field 71 South. So I've got um, GPS going here and I'm thinking that based upon where I have the other field set we need to be over a little bit because if you get too close to the tracks um it gets a little weird so I'm thinking maybe we move over this way a little more and probably start our plow here and let me see if I can realign this There we go. Um, I believe the red line that's showing up on GPS is just because I'm at an angle. So I'm pretty sure that's what that's about. Okay, so um, on the straights, I'm going to use GPS, but then when we get to the corners, I'm going to try and make them a little more curved just to make it easier for course play. And, um, you know, then little the little bits and pieces that might be missed from course play we can we can always get ourselves so I think we're lined up here let's get uh, locked into the direction it's uh, 270 degrees and we'll drop down the plow and we need to set it to uh, create fields which isn't showing up in my menu so I think that's the Y key yep that's the Y key all right let's get started with this and um, see how it goes Okay, so yeah, it's actually lining up on the red line and not the green line. Uh, and again, I think that's just because of the angle that we're at. So it's just pretty much smooth sailing until we get down to here where we'll have to make the corner. I'm, I don't know, maybe... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll make a, a smoother corner. So, I'm thinking if we want it to be reasonably smooth, we'll turn GPS off there, and we'll start to kind of curve it here until we get down to about here-ish, and then we'll start curving it back this way. To right about I'm thinking about here okay and then what we'll do is realign okay and lock in and go straight yeah this having GPS here is just it makes this uh, plowing job so much nicer because we don't have to worry about Trying to stay straight with our lines. Uh, the red line's still there, though, so I'm not really sure what that is, because we're on a flat now. Okay, let's um, that starts to bank off there. So we're gonna have to do another curve. plow seems to be hitting it but it it does you know what might have been better is for me to try and level that up a little well now let's not fight the terrain let's just work with the way that it is okay so we'll come around this way just kind of keep this turning set for um well i got to turn pretty hard here a little bit <laughs> a little bit over yeah I'll fix I'll fix that with some land with the landscaping tool because that's a little further over than I want it to be um, okay so let's get over to here and then I think I'm gonna once again 
just kind of wrap this around here and then start going this way Okay, now let's rotate this and align it. And we should be good here. Whoops, here we go, okay. Easy peasy mode. On the straights, anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I might do something different back down there. We'll see. Like, instead of having an S curve, just one more gradual curve at an angle kind of idea. All right. Now, same thing here. Let's turn this off. And... We're going to start to curve it this way. Okay, and then we'll just kind of come down through here. And then start curving it around this way. And then we just want to be on this side of the telephone lights. <clears throat> All right, now it looks like Yeah, we're not going to be on a on a straight angle here. So I could either eyeball this one or we could try and set an angle, but it's not even, you know, even looking at the road, it doesn't stay perfectly at that angle. It starts to even gradually curve. So I think for this, um, I think I'm going to eyeball this one. And we're probably not going to have a perfectly straight line either, but what I'm going to do is try and follow the power lines as best as I can. So let's just get like right about there. And I'm trying to keep the plow at a right angle to the power line as again as best as I can. This is completely eyeballing it though, but if we can keep it reasonably Uh, at that right angle, then it should turn out to be okay. And actually, you know what? Let's let's do a save right here, <laughs> just in case. Just in case. Okay. Man, I'm sure glad I have the subsoiler for this. I'm not an actual plow because it'd be harder with a plow. Just to keep it straight, you know. And we can get, we can go through the cable anchors for the power poles because those don't have collision on them. So, so far it's looking reasonably well. It's just the border that's, you know, that's the tricky part. After the border's done, then it doesn't matter. And then we just plow to our heart's content. But this is working okay so far. So we got in a little bit from before, but that's okay.
All right. Um. Yeah, we've drifted over a bit from the power lines. I think what I'm going to do is let's let's go back. Here, I'm going to turn GPS off for the moment. It's not helping. Let's go back to um Let's go back to this one here. bring this in a little bit closer to the next power line. Or to the next power pole, I should say. Yeah, that's better. Okay. And then we want to kind of, we don't want to get too crazy with this, but we still need to get a little more to the right. Okay. And then, again, just aim for the cable on this pole here. Okay, we still got back to the left a bit more than I wanted to. Repositioned. Yeah, I'll f I, I noticed that it went over one, but that's kind of what I wanted it to do. I'll fix it on the other side, too. There we go. All right, now let's just try and again keep somewhat of a right angle to the power line until we get to the next pole. And then again, we're just going to kind of try and follow the contour of the road here because there's no power lines to guide us with about the same um, shoulder width. Oh, we must be on territory we can't plow there. Okay, that's interesting. And then, like before, we're just going to start curving away from this property here. curved to here and then I'm going to come back up a little further in than I did with the mower to complete this circle here okay so um, I have a little bit of stuff to fix there what what's the deal with this Yeah, for some reason it doesn't want me. Well, so let me plow there. That was weird. Huh.
Okay. Well, um, I guess what we'll need to do there then is just kind of touch it up a bit. We'll add some landscaping. So we'll um, kind of do that, I guess. This one little spot here didn't seem to want to plow for some reason. Okay, while we're here, let's also um, do something about this. Okay, that's pretty good there. Um, we're looking reasonably good over on these on this side here. You know what? I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if I want to do the S curve, or if I just want to do like an angle across here. We'd lose a little bit of land doing that, but. Uh, or hay doing that, but it would make course play and baling and all that a little bit smoother. Not that the baling part is that big of a deal with the, you know, with the V-rake, but still. I'm just thinking that's probably a good idea. So why don't we do this? Why don't we... Here, I'm going to... I'm going to save again. <laughs> Let's go back to here. And what I think we'll do here is we'll get the painting tool. And I, I want to kind of come around here and Make that a little more gradual. Fix this. I'll come back uh, with the... Um, the subsoiler and, and make this a little straighter, but that's the basic idea anyway. And then what we'll do here is we'll we'll put some wild grass back in here so we can still mow it. It's just something we'll do on the side kind of thing. And that's expensive doing that. Goodness. Just that little spot. <laughs> it cost me a bunch of money. Okay, so yeah, we'll straighten this out a little more with the plow. So we'll basically start at this point and kind of go more or less to that point. I might even... Do something like this here. Okay, that's good. Um, I don't think we need to do much over here. This is a more gradual curve, so I'm okay with that curve. Um, this is a fairly sharp curve too, but not too bad. Uh, these curves are nice and gradual. Uh, let's look over here again. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's kind of sharp here. It might behoove us to chill this out a bit, too. So maybe... Do something more along those lines. And again, I can 
I can fine tune the that with the plow. Okay. And then plants and grass. This is going to be expensive. Trying to do a couple of larger squirts to get most of that area. Wow. <laughs> that was like over $2,000. Just that little patch there. Crazy. Okay, so yeah, we'll fix that. We'll make a little straighter. And I think we're pretty good uh, with the border overall for the big field here. This does get a little funky over here too, but it's just the way the, the land is. Um, all right, let's go work on uh, 71 South next. I actually want to start down at this end. We're just going to do one plow's width starting on the end here. Okay, so if we line up with the road, are we at 70 degrees perfectly? I don't think so, because my tractor's at 70 degree. Well, it might. Yeah, it probably is. Let's just try it. And we'll start right about here, I think. Well, I want to be in a little further, though, too. I don't want to be right up against the road. Probably more like about here. Okay, let's bring you back up. And we want to... Go here... And set this to 70 degrees. Yeah, no, it's not, actually. Okay, we're going to have to eyeball this one, too. All right, so let's drop the plow here. And we'll just try and follow the edge of the road as best as we can. Am I going to hit that tree? Yep. Okay. Um, let's make this tree go away. I'll even replant it for the park. How's that sound? Okay, come on, saw. I'm, want, I'm trying to get it to do the delete so it'll just go red, but it doesn't want to, so let's just do it this way. Let's go here. Um, I think that the rest of these trees will be fine. It was just that one. So we'll go landscaping trees. We want a young American elm. And we'll put it right there. That only costs us 130 bucks. Okay. All right, 
let's get back lined up here. I know I'm not perfectly aligned with the road, but I think it'll be fine. The thing is, is if you're not already on a straight line though, then, you know, the edge of the field's never gonna look perfectly straight. And if you are on a straight line, you know, then you can use GPS to make sure it's perfectly straight. Okay, so for here, we're just gonna do a sweep this way. Okay, that's looking good. And then again, we're going to just kind of follow the contour here. Leave the sign some extra room. And follow the road around. And then when we get to here, we're going to do a sweep to the right. Come up through this way. And intersect back into here. Like so. All right. The hard part's done. <laughs> the hard part's done. Um, now we just have to fill in. And um, I don't, I, I just don't see how I could get the AI to, to do this. And it's not going to take me that long to do anyway. So what I'm going to do, guys, is, is just fill in the rest uh, of the ex extended area. And we're going to have to destone it. And again, I'm not sure if the AI is smart enough to know how to do that. So I'm probably going to have to just do all of the prep work myself. Now, once the field is a whole field in the future, you know, course play and the AI should be able to pick it all up. But for now, I think it's just going to confuse them. Um, so, yeah, basically, I'm going to pick up stone. I'm going to finish plowing. I'm going to pick up the stones. Um, and then we will lime it. We will put fertilizer on it and plant it. And we can do that at the same time. And then we'll have to do a second application of fertilizer after it germinates. And I think that's, that'll put us in good stead here. So, um, yeah, I think what we'll do, guys, is just uh, time lapse the rest of this work. And I'll see you when it's all done.
We got our windows down Driving on the 405 Sing along to the radio mm -mm. We're gonna make it someday Nothing's gonna get in our way We will be the biggest band in town mm -mm. Round and round the world we'll go Putting on the greatest show So make sure that you don't miss out Just be there We're taking our shot, bring what you got We're going all the way to the top We will hear the sound of one million people Screaming our names when we're backstage We'll play loud, surfing the crowd Everybody's jumping around Yeah, that's the place where I wanna be Going on stage headline on a Saturday night Oh, 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 oh Saturday night Gonna quit my job Never wanna have no boss I just wanna play my rock and roll Like they do on the radio Tommy's got brand new drums And I still have my old guitar And John said this next song's gonna be real good If you know what I mean Round and round the world we'll go Putting on the greatest show So make sure that you don't miss out Just be We're taking our shot, bring what you got We're going all the way to the top We will hear the sound of one million people Screaming our names when we're backstage We'll play loud, surfing the crowd Everybody's jumping around Yeah, that's the place where I wanna be Going on stage headline on a Saturday night So make sure that you don't miss out, just be there, oh, just be there. We're taking our shot, bring what you got, we're going all the way to the top. We will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage. We'll play loud, surfing the crowd, everybody's jumping around. Yeah, that's the place where I wanna be, going on stage headline.
right, guys, I think we are finally done. Man, that took a while. That <laughs> took me a few hours in real life <coughs> to do everything. Um, but we should be... We should have this in as about as good a shape as we're going to be able to get it. Um, so I'm not going to have to come along and do another application of fertilizer because I forgot, you know, that it was originally grass. So it was already, it already had the first stage. So we applied the second stage when we did the seeding. Uh, so that's pretty doggone good. Um, if we look at the map here, uh, there's just a few spots on the field excuse me, where you see these light blue spots that for whatever reason I couldn't roll. I, I think the roller is just maybe a little too big. Um, but you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. They're, they're very small spots and rolling only get, gives us an additional 5% anyway. So it's not critical, you know, that we try and get all of that. Uh, cause otherwise what I'd have to do is go rent the smaller soil roller. Uh, I no longer trust my red uh, meadow rollers for soil rolling because of the issue that we had uh, on 57 several episodes ago. So, yeah, I mean, for the most part, it's in pretty darn, uh, darn good shape. And I think we're going to just run with it the way that it is. Now, a couple things um, that I did during the, the time lapse. Um, I decided to separate this little strip from this field. And the reason for that is because I, I was trying to have the JCB pick up stones with course play and course play kept wanting to run it up in, into there and it was causing problems and he was getting hung up in trees. So I'm just going to take care of this little strip myself every time we do it. And course play should be able to map something a lot easier on this little shape here. I had to pull this back in more because it was uh, into this part of the property uh, that we don't own. And, and that was causing problems. I had to pull this back in some more. And I did decide to raise this bank up just a little bit more, even though I originally had said I wasn't going to do that. So um, I think we're in pretty good shape. Like I said, um, we should get some, we should get some really good um, yield from this. There's a little strip right there. Did I miss it for planting? I didn't. Okay. So it looks like it might've been missed for fertilizing, but you know, there's ever since the, the update that the giants came out with, right before the platinum expansion, I've been getting these weird little brown spots on the field that were not there before. So I don't even know what causes it, uh, but I don't worry about it too much because it's really not significant. And uh, yeah, so we're in pretty darn good shape. We're going to get some massive yield uh, from this field when, uh, when it comes time to harvest it. Okay, so yeah, um, I have a bunch of editing to do, so I don't know how much time <laughs> is left in this video. So I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to let you... Oh, slow down. Back up quickly, quick, quick, quick. <laughs> that would not have been good. Um, I think I'm going to just go ahead and wrap up the video here. It, even if it does end up being a little bit shorter, it probably won't because my videos usually aren't. But um, we'll just go ahead and wrap it up here and... Let's see, we're in, we're still in March 1st, so I probably uh, I probably won't bring you back until April and we'll we'll be able to sell our clothes clothing and wool in April and make some pretty good money off of that. And then yeah, kind of just go from there. Um there's something I'm going to try with the big M uh when we do our next hay cutting. And um, so I'm not going to tell you what that is yet because I want to test it first. But as long as it works the way I hope it works, then you will see how we're going to do that in the, well, actually, maybe not in the next episode. The next time we cut our hay, I should say, which won't be for us now until uh, June. Yeah, because we don't want to cut it in May. We want to get it to its second growth stage, which won't be until June. Um, and that's actually also the month we're going to harvest our barley. So June's going to be a huge month for us. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we will catch you in the very next episode. I got to return this lease uh, right here. Lease is returned and we are good to go. All right. See ya.